Hello, my name is Dan. Welcome back to my channel. I do want to talk about some recent developments we've seen with the VV Quarter 2 priorities. As you may know, a lot of the Quarter 2 priorities have been focused on things like KYC, Know Your Customer, and that sets us up for MTL, aka Cash Out. And we're seeing some evidence that those things are actually on track and are happening as we speak to a select number of individuals. Now, we've seen on Twitter, as well as Discord, that people are posting their proof that they have been able to cash out, and some, it seems, have already cashed out their funds. A vast majority of people have been able to go on the web app, and so we've seen that some of the quarter two priorities that the team has talked about is actually happening. Now, do I believe 100% of it will be rolled out by the end of quarter two in June? I don't think so. I think that's going to take maybe 30, possibly 60 more days for that to, in fact, completely roll out. But I do think it's really reassuring to see that the team has met some of the basic deadlines that they have imposed on themselves. So I do believe that we could see a lot more people in July actually able to cash out funds if they, in fact, have some gems that they want to get off the app. So this is really bullish in my opinion. And the reason I think this is so bullish is not only does it establish a precedent where Vivi is able to make their own self-imposed deadlines, but I also want to focus on the quarter three deadlines, mainly OMI token utility, the OUP, the OMI token utility program, because I think this is what's going to be big, in fact, for OMI holders. This is great for those who have had very valuable collections, and it's going to be indirectly very beneficial for the OMI token. But but quarter three is actually where we're going to see the start of the OMI token becoming very explosive in terms of price. Now, I know there's things like the recession, we have war, we have supply chain issues, inflation. This is going to, of course, damper expectations for the OMI token, but this sets the seed, the stage for where we could see a big blow-off top for the OMI token, hopefully sometime this year, but if not this year, hopefully sometime in 2023, early 2023. So I do want to talk about that particular piece. But before we begin, like always, if you wish to support my channel, just give a like, watch the video to the end, and leave me a comment down below about what you guys think about everything that's going on. It's incredibly bullish to me. Let's get into it. I always like to start with looking at OMI token price. We're currently trading at 0.0014, which is an 8.7% increase from just 24 hours ago. So really good. If we look at the general market in comparison, we see that a lot of the tokens have been kind of trading sideways, generally have been a little bit down. Bitcoin is currently trading at 2.2%, Ethereum 2.6%. BNB 0.5%. So when we look at something like OMI that's actually outperforming the broader cryptocurrency market, you have to ask yourself why. And I do believe it's because the team is in fact meeting a lot of their self-imposed deadlines. And even over the past seven days, the OMI token has been doing really well, breaking through that 0.0011 level. And we're currently, you know, trading at, you know, between 0.0013 to 1.5, which is a good range to be in. Generally, I think this is more of an upward pattern overall, which is very good. And the volume, of course, is also really supportive of this. We're trading at $1.3 million dollars. A far cry from where we were, you know, in early 2021, but still really healthy volume overall. In the past month or so, we've actually broken below that million volume. So this is really encouraging as well. Now, if you could see, I actually have the web app and the web app is very good. I do like it. It's very easy. The search bar is easy to use. People on Twitter have been talking about it. I think this is a very beautiful product that the VV team has shown us. And this is one of their priorities and the vast majority of people on Vivi, to my knowledge, actually are able to access this. So this is kind of setting the stage for big things for the Vivi app. Now we've been seeing some images floating around on Discord as well as Twitter. I have here an image that someone posted on Discord that I'm showing on Twitter, but you can see that people have been able to cash out. 
We have the fee, which looks like to be maybe a little bit over 10%. This is not something that's unusual. We, we knew the fees would be about 10%, and this is an international bank transfer, which takes about five to seven business days per this picture here. So all in all, this looks pretty encouraging. We are seeing people actually having the ability to cash out because we know that these priorities have been something the community has been stressing about. They, a lot of people felt like this wasn't going to happen. This is actually evidence that it is happening. Now, we know in the next quarter, we're going to see a little bit of a shift in priorities. And we know Omi Token Utility is a big part of it. If you watch a lot of these AMAs, you've seen the team talk about things like Omi Token Utility mainly OMI to NFT, as well as some other aspects of the OMI token utility program. The VV team changes quite a bit of their tokenomics. We're moving from the buyback model that was talked about, you know, early 2020, perhaps a little bit earlier, where 10% of the revenue VV makes is actually used to buy back those tokens. Now we know we're shifting from this model mostly because of the regulatory environment. You've heard a lot of people on the crypto space and as well as on this channel talk about how regulations are going to be a bigger aspect for the crypto space because this is so wild. And Vivi Ecomi is really insightful because they're planning ahead. It might not be awesome to hear about how buybacks are possibly being you know, removed or modified in some way to make it more regulatory compliant, but all in all, in the long term, this is going to be a bigger issue, and it's better to be prepared versus having to scramble like a lot of other projects right now. Now, the biggest thing people are excited for for the OMI Token Utility Program is, in fact, the secondary trading in OMI, aka the OMI to NFT aspect, being able to sell collectibles and actually list it in OMI. If you've watched some of the AMAs about MTL, they have talked about how we could have some cash out in other crypto like USDT, amongst other coins. One thing that was notably absent was the OMI token, and I do believe they've done that because of the regulatory environment. They don't want any association with tokens that may not be compliant. And also we know that OMI to NFT is going to be part of the OMI token utility program. So I think they're saving that to be included with the OUP rollout sometime in quarter three, 2022. And that would be sometime in September 30th. We could see some aspect of this rolling out. And I have a personal belief that this will be a live rollout of this feature. I also think this is wise because if you're cashing out into a token like USDT, that token is specifically to convert into cash. You know, there's going to be a lot of sell pressure on USDT, which is great because it's a stable coin. That's the purpose of that token to get in and out of USDT or whatever tokens uh, quickly. And so OMI token not being a part of that is actually bullish because if you're cashing out directly into OMI, then there will be some negative sell pressure. Now, I guess the same thing could happen with the secondary market, the OMI to NFT aspect. But if we know the psychology of people in the market, what people will start to do is that they're going to take advantage of the secondary marketplace on VV as well as the OMI token. A lot of people look at the OMI token as a speculative investment, which it is because it's very speculative and volatile as a result. But what people will start to do is that when collectibles dip and let's say OMI starts to rise up in value, people are going to take their increased OMI value sell some and actually buy the collectibles. And that will raise the prices of the collectibles over time. And then as time goes on, we're going to see people take that higher value collectible, wait for an opportunity where maybe OMI is trending downward for whatever reason, sell those collectibles to get into OMI and actually have more OMI overall. So I see this ecosystem as something that's going to develop, that's going to balance out the value of the collectibles as well as OMI over time thus finally connecting the OMI token with the VV app. I think we're going to see a lot of stability with the OMI token, and that's going to set the stage where we're going to have higher average prices for OMI. And then when we have bullish sentiment or bullish news come out, like a bull run or VVverse released, we're going to see that token actually launching off. And I'm hoping we could see a return to 0.005 to 7 sometime this year. I think that is possible if we have a good rollout. 
The reason I say this is we're going to see some exponential growth with things in the VV app. David Yu has talked about how VV revenue, he expects $650 million in USD, $1 billion in New Zealand dollars. And we know that right now we're nowhere near those numbers. So I think once all these things have been established, we're going to see a lot of new collectibles drop. There have been a lot of rumors of big license wars dropping sometime in the middle half to last half of this year. And this might be incredibly bullish for this token as well as the app. And this is going to make the token skyrocket in value. It's very exciting. So all in all, I think this is incredibly bullish for the OMI token in 2022. And it's actually why I've been buying a lot of OMI over the past few weeks or so. I do want to make another video updating on my new goals for the OMI token. I did make some pretty large purchases recently and we'll do a few more in the next week or so. So I do want to share that with you. So stay tuned for that video. It's an update on my OMI token portfolio. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please give a like, subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. Thank you for watching the video with me and I'll see you guys in the next one.